Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a really nice halo eye. I'm going to be using the pressed powders. So we've got optimistic, let me do it this way, optimistic, crafty, ambiguous and credulous. So these two are shimmers, this is a matte and this is a shimmer as well. If you can see on there. So we're going to use all these four colours and we're going to get a halo eye like this. Now a halo eye is where you've got the dark around the outside and then you've got a light bit in the middle so it creates that pop of colour in the middle and it's super easy, it's really not hard to do. So to start off we're going to be using our blending brush. Now I've already primed my eye so it's ready to go. We're going to use Crafty first. So you just want to take a bit on your blending brush like that and you want to start on the outside of your eye and then go across. So you're doing a windscreen wiper motion and this colour is called a transition colour which you probably have heard me say before and this is the colour which goes all the way up to your eyebrow nearly and this is the colour that blends all the other colours together so it's called a transition colour and whichever eye look you do it's the same principle with all of them so you start with your transition colour so you can't overblend, so don't worry, you just go back and forth, back and forth, like a windscreen wiper. And you end up with that nice faded out colour. And then we're going to go in with crease brush, which is a lot thinner brush. We're going to use this darker colour, which is credulous. So we're just going to get a bit on the brush. And we're going to do the outer corner and the inner corner of our eyes, so the two dark areas like that. So you almost want to do a line and again a line as your guideline and then we're going into the crease and along the lash line so we're forming a triangle. I'm going to have to do this looking in my other mirror because I can't see very well. Right, so we're doing a triangle. And then we go slightly above the crease as well. It's almost like it's just under where the bone is. And don't worry if you get any fallout because we can sort that out afterwards. And then the same with the inner corner. We're just filling in that inner triangle if you like. And the key is to build it up, so you don't want to get too much on your brush all at once. It's about building up those layers. You see we're getting that nice bare bit in the middle. And then what we're going to do, we're still using the same shade. We're going to go all the way over the top. So it's above the crease, almost on where the socket bone is. And it's just a case of going back and forth like a windscreen wiper and then going underneath. Like I said, don't worry about this because we will sort that out afterwards. And then what I'm going to do is grab my other brush, this is my deluxe brush, and I'm going to go for Ambiguous next, which is this lighter purple but it's still got a bit of a shimmer to it. Tip. Get your brush, push, push it in like that. You don't want to strike it down, you want to push it in. That's when you get all the most product onto your brush. Tap off any excess. Let me just get my mirror again. And I'm just going to pat it in. And I'm just going for this middle section here. Because we're going for the halo look. So you just want to have that bright middle section. So I'm going to get a bit more. And just pack it onto the middle so you can see how you're getting a nice light section there and then what I'm going to do is use my optimistic which is this one here I'm just going to use a different brush so it's like a clean brush without any purple on I'm just going to get a little bit on here so not much because I don't want to take away from the purple but I just want to give a bit more light to that middle section See how it just lightens it up? Then I'm going to use that same Optimistics, the pale colour. I'm just going to go underneath my brow 
slightly to give a bit of a highlight there and just on the inner corner here. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my crease brush and go back with the darker purple, so this top one is Credulous. And I'm just going to go over again the outer corner and the inner corner just to build that dark up again. And then over the top. And then underneath. And then I'm going to get my blending brush. Because you see how this side is more blended, this one's more of a harsh line. I'm going to get my blending brush again and I'm just going to blend out this very top line. And literally it's just a case of just going over it. Back and forth like a windscreen wiper. See how it starts to just really blend out? And then you get like a nice blended edge as opposed to having a harsh line. I'm going to get my pressed powder foundation. I'm going to clear up that fallout. See how it just takes it away? It's so good. Now, one of my favourite tricks is to use a white eyeliner in your waterline. This will really open up your eyes, make them seem a lot brighter. And then we're going to finish off with Epic Mascara. And that's it. And you could totally do a um, wing on this with the dip and draw liner. That would look really cool as well. But for today, we're just going to stick with the Epic. So this mascara will really increase like the volume of your lashes and it will just give you that extra length as well. And it's a one step so it's super easy. It's also, it's also really good for your lashes, it will help nourish your lashes and help keep them strong. But you can't say that about every mascara. And it's buildable. Build up the layers. Now a little tip, if you do get any mascara splash back just on your eye, just use the brush part of a brow brush, the comb part I should say, and just brush it away. See, and it won't take away your eyeshadow. And that is it, that is a simple halo look using this quad palette. So we've got, starting from that way, we've got optimistic, crafty, ambiguous, and credulous. And how pretty is that halo look? And I've got a sumptuous splash lipstick on my lips. That's it, all finished, thank you for watching.